<gasps> Gabaret, oh. Gabaret Sidibe in my fantastic, like, dramatic opus playing myself on the C word, right? Mm -hmm. As her design teacher. That's funny. The big C. Oh, the, the big, big C. C. Oh, I said the C word, right? Oh, sorry about but that. But that's what we, everybody. Creativity, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. talent. Right. Right. The big creativity, uniqueness, nerve, and talent show. Right. She, I consider a friend, if she would ever call me again. She did. Gabarette, you might call me or text me once in a while, all right? But I Love think her. she's so smart no, and she's funny great. and completely unexpected. And what she's really good at is mm -hmm. social media. Oh, Do you yeah, follow yeah. her on Twitter? Oh. It's insane. Yeah. No. What that comes out of that girl's yes. uh, fingertips yes. is crazy. And she's a cat now. She does? She's a cat, she's a cat lady. That's a big commitment for Gabourey. She's committed to that. Uh -huh. like, I never saw her as like, I saw her as this free spirit just flying all around the world. Well, that's like what a cat is too, no? Like they can just do whatever. I guess, if you're Holly, go lightly, but you know, I mean. Than that. <gasps> Christy Turlington, oh my God. By the way, there are so many better pictures of me and Christy than that. Well, I, well I've tried to find obscure things that I didn't know. That might be, again, a cocktail for, the, like a cocktail announcing the cocktail for the Met Ball or right. something. Thanks. It's amazing how different she looks, right? Yeah. She can look so different. Give her a bang and she looks completely different, right? What? And you know, you think about her, like, where's that outfit? Right. Like, whatever happened to, what is it, first of yeah, all? Yeah, what is it? What is it and where a, is it and where is it right. like where and did you ever see it after that night never like, only one time it just went back into a bag and who right. got it and who took it and right. you know yeah there's a story about her one night she was i was well one of my many trips to paris i wanted to buy this bracelet for my mom uh -huh. this chanel sort of like pave pearl thing it was so good. gorgeous and i thought how much could it be fifteen hundred dollars eighteen hundred dollars it was right. like four thousand dollars so i didn't buy it i was like okay merci beaucoup and i looked out <laughs> anyway she was wearing it at the met ball one uh -huh. night and and i told her the story she's like oh please give this to your mother because he sent it to me i'll never look at it again i was like okay, okay. So i don't know where that bracelet is by the way no idea where it is okay just saying it's gone but I did give it to my mother, who like broke into tears when she got of it. Of course, yeah. because because it came from Christy. Right. That's what. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This. That. Well, that's Candace Bergen and Chloe Moll, and that's a Vogue sitting. And look how thin. I mean, like any. But why have I let it go? How did I let it go, Brandon? <laughs> I don't know why I let it go. That suit. That's a Savile Row suit, and Chloe Moll. That's a really cute. Yeah, it's cute. It? Yeah. It's cashmere and satin. Where was it? And wait, could I tell you something? It was at, um, someone opened a restaurant, like mm -hmm. one of those restaurants. It was like a Brian McNally moment. Okay. And Anna said it in that restaurant in order to get as much kind of exposure for everybody. Sure. Right? Yeah. And so that's Couture and Candace Bergen is in the Target clothes. Those are all Target oh. clothes. Yeah. And Andre Leontali was the stylist for the sitting. Uh huh. And she did a great job, didn't she? Just it's plain, cute. simple. And look at that sneaker. Like, I know, the sneaker is that? The sneaker is It's everything. a pointed sneaker. Isn't that great? Yes. Target, right? And in those oh. days, you could do anything for Target because... Well, because also, wait, there's, there's we this also, one. Well, that's also, that's me right. and Candace Bergen, and that's the same restaurant. Right. And those are all Target clothes <sighs> on her. Wait a minute. And for that sitting, for that particular pink outfit, mm -hmm. I made a pink diamond, a real pink diamond ankle bracelet, mm -hmm. which Chloe Mile is wearing in that photograph. And somehow... Crop to the knee, it by got the way. Cropped. I right. mean, Vogue, really? Right. I mean, yeah, just say it. I was like, oh, yeah. I tortured people to get that made. Yes. It was matched pink diamonds, like five carat diamonds. I swear to you, like that just encircled her ankle. It was so good. Pink with a pink cashmere coat. And that's it, the legs. And where is it now? I don't know. I think it was right. dismantled. I think the jeweler took it and was like so pissed off at me. that. Uh -huh. it, and I was like, it's not my fault. It's like whoever cropped the photograph, I didn't do it. Right. Lena Dunham, right? Mm -hmm. In a trouser. In a trouser. Way, at... 15 or right not even 15 she's got to be like eight there i mean she's really young there so cute and where is that where are we i don't know where it is but yeah by the way cute trick wear your watch on your belt loop okay i'm just saying that's very kind of ginger rogers right and then what do you do if you need another you go like this oh you just okay excuse me it's much better than wearing it on your wrist right style for tech. years i did that that's good right yeah it's yeah. good but that? here's the thing about lena <laughs> When she was a kid, she was a nightmare. Like her mom, Lori, was really scared. Like uh -huh. she would do these insane things. And right. we all had this 
psychic and Lori would go to the psychic Maria Napoli who has since gone mm -hmm. and, and Maria Napoli would say to her no darling she is basically the Christ child you have given birth to the Christ child she is going to be the biggest star in the world so don't worry about it right. she does crazy things now encourage the crazy things because uh -huh. she's literally going to be like this huge meteoric and she was right Cut to. Maria Napoli was Cut right to. about Lena me mm -hmm. in my suit yes at Les Mizrahi. Again, so skinny. Like, could I, like, you can't wear shit. But the hair is straight here. The hair was straight. The hair was straight. The hair was straight. And I was straightening it for years. Yes. And I remember one day I was out at a restaurant after I finished, I was like done with straightening and I was just wanted it to be curly again. Uh -huh. And I saw Veronica and right. I saw Cara, oh, Cara Dorazio. She was married okay. to Sante Dorazio. That's all I'll call Cara, Cara Dorazio, even mm -hmm. that wasn't her name. Right. And like, I remember I stopped straightening it and mm -hmm. they were like, oh, you stopped straightening your, like, cause we were all straight and we were all right. like processing our hair. Uh -huh. And when I stopped, they were like, you stopped? Like, like you, you betrayed us and you're going back to Curly. That was, that, I just remember that. I saw them at like Saint Ambrose and together. And did you yeah. did you have like a flat iron? Did you have no no no? It was a process, darling. Okay. It smelled like burning flesh for about a week <laughs> okay. after that happened. Like I did it once a month. It was like this process, and it hurt, and it was like uh -huh. stinky, but it was straight, and it looked really good for right. about a month. <clears throat> oh, I, oh, that that's mm -hmm. this thing with Bruce Weber. He got me to Florida to take pictures of me. I had never seen, I've seen one Did picture from it. Did you see the story? Because my mom's in the story. I saw the picture of, of you, your mom, and, and, Linda. and Linda. I've never seen this picture. Well, that's, by the way, that's that's a pre-caftan, Isaac Mizrahi caftan. Pre-caftan? Pre-caftan, yes. Did you notice? It's like a linen caftan with velvet trim. It's Ugh. so chic. I mean, like this natural linen thing with velvet around the neckline. I mean, come on. Right. Caftan. Anyway, so, he lured me to Florida, Bruce Weber, saying, your mom is here, Linda's here, uh -huh. we're gonna take pictures for Italian Vogue. And I was like, oh, sh I was so busy and I was coming from Europe and uh -huh. I had to go somewhere and there right. was a snowstorm and I made it there and then I made it home. It was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. It was a nightmare. And of course my mother, you know, being with your mother and Bruce Weber in the same room and Linda. Right. Like imagine if Roz, Linda, me, and Bruce Weber were in the same room. You'd probably have a heart attack. I'd combust. You would just burst yeah. into flames. Yeah, yeah, basically. Exactly. How it did was, you? It was not easy. How did you manage? Well, here's the thing. It was DDA Malige doing uh -huh. the hair, yes. and I forgot who did the makeup. Some unbelievable, extraordinary makeup artist. But it was very natural hair. Like my mm -hmm. mother was like, they worked on her for hours, and she's like, "Where's all the hair and makeup? Like, what happened?" They made her look like totally natural, uh -huh. and she was like, "Where's the hair and makeup?" And right. then. She thought that she was going to be the star of the sitting, like it was just about her. Well, right? that, I mean, it was, you know, Linda in the dress and then right. her in the background going like that, right? And she was pissed off. Like really? She was pissed off. And then we spoke and she was like, I'm not going to write him a thank you note. And I was like, well, well that'll show that, him. Yeah. That'll show Bruce. He will never get over that. You're no. not going to write him a no. thank you note. He will never get over this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> <laughs>